rotate device. Why? We like it. What's going on here? The thing's acting stupid. Got a lock on here or some shit, and I can't unlock it. You're mm. okay. I know, but there's a. It's sideways, though. See. Yeah. See him. There you go. Well. But the thing is, there's a lock. Okay, I don't know. Hmm. I got fish. How are you? Okay, babe. It's. It's good. Right. Or maybe now not, so, because I'm delayed. I don't know what's happening with my phone. There, you're fine now, babe. You're fine. Okay, I'm fine. Hi, guys. The thing is, I have to balance it. Big Mac said, guess who's coming to dinner? <clears throat> my phone's there we go got him balanced how does it look huh all right <laughs> yeah i got a big shirt on that's right what's happening folks so everybody knows everybody knows right it's wednesday night live party time my heart intentions so you know, the man everybody loves to hate, including me. I don't hate very many people, but Mr. Michael Thompson is somebody I have absolutely no respect or regard for. He's a piece of shit, rat, motherfucker. Pardon my language, folks. Anyway, uh, another channel. Hi, Donette. LA Times posted, uh, yeah, white powder, Holmes. Uh, oh, just say that, wait, how you got your info. Just say you got a phone yeah, call. Yeah, so I got a phone call from uh, the Damage Done podcast folks. Let me know that Mr. Michael Thompson is now back in jail. Oh, uh, yeah, a guy everybody said was a stand up, upstanding citizen, earned his way out of prison by being a snitch, ratting on all his friends. Pardon me for not seeing your comments. What's up, Redwood Post? What's up, brother? Uh, Stephen Tate, hello. Donette, hi, Donette. Anyways, big mix. Uh, Mr. Michael Thompson back in jail. That's right, folks. And evidently, he's been out longer than I thought. It's been out since 2019. There's an article in the LA Times. I just read most of it, but on the phone, they want you to subscribe. They want you to read the whole thing. So, Mr. Michael Thompson is a scumbag of the highest order. Let me tell you what I read. And this kind of stuff is kind of hard to be accused of if you didn't do it. Because it's all electronic, okay? So, Mr. Mike Thompson has a self-help program called Live, Learn, Love, fucking whatever. Retarded motherfucking bullshit. So, his wife's a lawyer, works for death row inmates, which is okay with me. But, uh, yeah, he was smoking that peace pipe. I mean, skin flute. That's right. So, anyway, Mr. Michael Thompson paroled to Lake County, folks. Everybody got that? Lake County. What's up? Do it hard. Smoke. Uh, what's that saying? So anyway, he paroled to Lake County. Everybody knows where Lake County is, right? Yeah. In San Quentin, they had a poster of this chick smiling. She had like three teeth that said, Miss Lake County, 2000. And Smoky Mountain Bear Hunter. Uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty, you know, a lot of drug addicts, a lot of homeless people, a lot of speed, a lot of way out shit going on. So that's where Mr. Michael Thompson was living. Evidently, he's living in Lake County. Top of the line. For all you guys who want to know, Mike Thompson was living in Lake County. Anyways, uh, <laughs> you know, because I always wonder where the hell is that guy living? So what he was doing, according to this article was uh, he was a counselor for his Live, Learn, Love program and some other shit because he has a degree in uh, moronology. And so uh, <laughs> he uh, was getting homeless people, drug addicts, etc., and counseling them and getting their information, saying, yeah, well, you know, part of this program is, you know, you're going to get this EDD. So get, the, he was getting information from homeless people, drug addicts, 
down on your luck, whatever, homeless people. I worked with homeless people. They need a lot of help. So uh, he was not helping them. He said, I'm going to get your information. And uh, um, he was getting unemployment checks for these guys, you know, the EDD checks. And he says, you know, you're going to get a portion. We're going to get a portion for doing this. And then uh, you'll get the rest. So these people never got anything. And as soon as the money came in, him and some other guy, I think his name was Hutchings. He's 45 years old. I don't know him. Uh, as soon as the money hit the bank, you know, they send you a little debit card, you know. They would get the cards, had the PIN numbers, never gave any of this information to homeless people. And they would go down and withdraw the money. They also started a company uh, getting fraudulent loans of up to $1.5 million dollars. Um, Wait a minute, excuse me. They 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 started this thing. They got loans saying that they were buying heavy equipment and leasing it out to people and that they made $1.5 million doing this. Of course, they never made a dime because it was bogus. And they got big-time loans to do this. Uh, yeah, so evidently Mr. Michael Thompson is a very stand-up man. Do you want to talk about that? If you find his wife? Yeah, that. yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, so we have some, like, we didn't just get our info from the newspaper, just like other channels are doing right now. We actually yeah. have, like, additional info. So, yeah. yeah. So, what's up, JoJo? Uh, AZ Burrow Lawson. Yeah, it was Lake County. <laughs> um, anyway, so, you know, the guys at Damage Done Podcast are pretty decent guys. I like them. I did an interview with them. You guys should go check it out, give them support. Uh, whack deuce. Anyway, uh, evidently his wife is a lawyer and she does work for guys on death row and that's cool, you know. Debo and, uh, uh, yeah, the old shuck and jive. So she calls the podcast Damage Done. I hope they don't mind me exposing this. And she's like, oh, my God, he's innocent. He didn't do it. He's totally innocent. And she says that he took a lot of her money, her money. And she's a lawyer, so she's got a little bit of money. Uh, uh, and gave it to this guy. And this, she says that he, she got his, he got her money and gave it to a guy he was in prison with because he was investing it. That's smart. And that's the only connection he has to this guy. But the the his he is the CEO of all these companies that all this stuff took place with. And believe me, when they investigate this shit, there's a paper trail. So, you know, he's anyway, she says he's totally innocent, one hundred percent didn't do anything wrong. And she wants to come on the podcast, damage done. And have an interview. I guess she wants to come on there and beg for, oh, Mike's innocent. Oh, poor Michael, oh, my husband. <laughs> guess what? Yeah, she worked her ass off to get him out of prison. Yeah, she worked her ass off to get him out of prison, I'm sure, because she's a lawyer. So here's the deal. He took her money and gave it to his friend because he's an investor that he met in prison. Really? Wow. Uh, what's that sound like to you, folks? And what, what were you saying right before he went on? You said that there's a bunch of his friends were yeah. going to say that. Oh, yeah. Said, yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, you know, uh, you know, he just worked. Oh, Rod said, tell her to start a GoFundMe. Yeah, he can get, <laughs> yeah, he burned his old lady. So, I mean, come on, man. You know. I would never give money to somebody I knew in prison like that to invest. All you got to do is go down to, I would say, hey, what are you investing in? Oh, ABC, that's a good stock. Cool. I'd get a hold of a broker and say, hey, how's ABC? I get the investor's business daily. He's a smart guy, right? He knows how to check up on what stocks are good and what aren't. But instead, he gave the money to his friend he knew in prison who was an investor. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's funny shit isn't it man that poor woman i feel sorry for her if you're watching uh young lady i'm sorry you lost your money 
and I'm sorry that, uh, you know, the guy you love uh, took your money and gave it to his friend to invest for you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I really am sorry for her. But it sounds like he was just working you. Yeah. Uh, I knew another guy in prison. I won't say his name because I kind of liked him. But he married a lawyer and she got him out of prison. Uh, they had family visits, got pregnant, had a kid. And when he got out, he left her. And uh, he said uh, some friends of mine, he told some friends of mine, hey, the reason he left was he's a gangster. He's not going to quit being a gangster. And he didn't want to fuck her life up. But at least he threw that part out there. This guy just uh, used his chick up, got him out of prison, took her money, uh, committed fraudulent crimes that, you know, Okay, so let me get three hundred fifty thousand dollars. This is what he wore. This is the biggest one in California. It's a, no, no, they said this is the biggest EDD scam in the country, in the country, right? So guess where Mr. Michael Thompson is at now? Yeah, he's in Sacramento County Jail, from what I understand. Man, isn't that a shame? I know. I'll calm down. I'm actually getting kind of excited. Uh. Yeah, because I like Mr. Thompson so much. Um, Guess who else is in the Sacramento County Jail? A bunch of his former uh, comrades uh, that he told on. Fighting a RICO case. Probably on information that he gave the feds. Yeah, yeah, Casper, he's back in jail because he's a piece of shit motherfucker. Um, yeah, he's in there for a $350,000 fraud. That's quite a bit of money, you know? You notice that we yeah. didn't put the title of what this was about because yeah. we wanted to just talk with you. After we're done, I'm going to, but yeah. we wanted to just yeah. talk with you guys. Hot Rod it. said he had her hypnotized on oh, the skin oh flu. Oh, my God. I knew you were going to read that out loud. <laughs> I just knew it. Hot Rod, don't encourage him. Um, <laughs> you know right. what? I, the other thing I was just going to say about her <laughs> is that I'm not losing the irony <sighs> on the fact that the reason he went to prison was for killing somebody to get... You know, yeah, yeah, he went to prison. Girl, his old lady. Yeah, so and you know, and he has, he has a history with women. You know, bad history. Now uh, to the point where he kills someone to have somebody's wife. You know, uh, guy said Watch he turned. Guy said, uh, homeboy said he. Uh, Jojo from AZ said he turned himself in, pants down to his ankles, running backwards into the jail. So. <laughs> uh, what's up, Jen? Maybe you guys saw everybody hit the like button. Oh yeah. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share. We appreciate it very much. I did some videos yesterday. I was kind of tired, but they're getting edited. I was a little wore out, but I had some subject matter somebody brought up to me that I thought I would do. Uh, I thought I would do some uh, some videos on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Mr. Michael Thompson's a great guy, ain't he? <laughs> Um. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, Jen, text me. I was gonna call you tonight and see what's up for tomorrow. So we're gonna go. Uh, just I'm just gonna throw this in there really quick. Uh, we're gonna go out to dinner with Big Mex on um, Thursday uh, Friday, or Friday. Friday night. Uh, what's up, Chuck? Sixty-seven. Thank you, brother, we're for gonna everything. We're gonna go visit our friends and yeah. and where they live, and I'm super excited about it. Point yeah. Miami. Yeah, we're going to Port Wainimi, Port Wainimi, down by Ventura to go see Big Max and his family. They're wonderful people. We love them very much. Uh, you know? We do. Uh, he's going to, Mitch is going to do an interview with uh, Big Max's, uh, what yeah. you would call check, check. a boyfriend, uh, son-in-law, but they're not married Future son-in-law. Yeah, future son-in-law, yeah, son um, who has a little, um, uh, he has yeah. a little... He has a channel, and so we're gonna, Mitch is going to do an interview on it, which I'm actually really jazzed about. Um, so I think it's going to be interesting looking at their podcast. They didn't want to take it on um, because they're like they're not a prison channel. They don't really care. They're not going to yeah. like get somebody out of you know whatever. Yeah. So yeah, so Mitch, you know. basically they you know I I don't know Hello. they they might interview. Uh, Emil Kelly has said he's a gay Jew. Well, stay down. You know. Hi, Ar Ron RNMC. How what's you up, doing? Ron RNMC? What's up, brother? We're doing good. What's up, babe? Should I tell the story in depth? About... I think you should take your phone outside. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, so where's my shoes? So enough about that. Enough about minute. that shit. I'm going to take you So Mitch got his birthday present. 
I'm gonna be 60. Yeah. I'm gonna get my shoes on. Where the hell are they? I'll be right back. Where are my shoes? Hi, Donette. Hi, Jen. Hi, guys. Hi, Debbie. He's got like a weird setup here. He's just getting his shoes on. So this is like lighting is terrible. Um, I'm going to be 34. Hi, John McHugh. How's it going? When is Mitch's birthday? Mitch's birthday is on Friday. So uh, hi, Tony Gutierrez. Hi, Hot Rod. Go, Adrian. It's not my birthday. It's Mitch's birthday. <laughs> hi, Jen Jen. Um, yeah, the big six zero. it was a big one. So this meant big birthday presents. So, um, yeah, you ready? Yeah. I'm selling hot dogs. Mitch is selling hot dogs. I'm selling hot dogs, folks. So, you don't need your okay. Let's see what's happening is my wife got with my brother. My brother just sold his house and a little... They sold my bike. They sold my motorcycle. My wife and my brother conspired, sold my motorcycle. Oh, they sold my motorcycle to Ryan Rains up the hill, a good friend of mine. Can you believe that? What do you think about that, Redwood Post? Ron, you guys are bikers. Come on, man, they sold my motorcycle. You know? And you know, here's the deal. I've been wanting an Indian all my life. You know? They go, hey, look, I don't know how to turn this thing around. Let's see. Can we turn around? No, not that. You're blowing it, dude. I'm blowing it. This right here. Right there. Okay. Now, so look what they got me for my birthday. My brother and my wife got that for me for my birthday. Can you believe that? <laughs> look at that, man. This thing's awesome. We still owe a couple bucks on it. Look with that. Look at that. That's a new Indian chief. It's called Super Chief Limited. Huh? Look at that. Yeah. Huh? Look at that, man. And that's something. Look at the engine. The engine's the engine. Look at that engine. And this is the only one with chrome. You know? The other ones are all blacked out. I'm an artist. Look at that. I can't wait to see the lights. And on Mitch's old bike, you can Oh yeah, my old bike, you can see nothing at night. Look at that, it has a 116 motor, floorboards, nice. Look at that. So now, look at bags. Now I'm officially owner of a bagger. I don't have the key fob on me, or maybe I do. Oh, I do. Look at this, look at that. It's digital. It's digital, look, they got a thing right here. Indian, watch it come on. Uh, yeah, warning. Okay, look at this thing. Look at that. It's got a. Yep. Look at that. Today I rode it for two hours, like 85 miles today. I rode it. Look at that. It's got maps. Look at this. Maps, I hit the button. You can hit home, and it'll take you home one mile away. Yeah, and that's something. It's insane. That's what I might got for my birthday. For my wonderful family. You know, and that's something, folks. Yeah. Look at look at them trees. I told you we live in the mountains. All around. We live in the mountains. Look at that. Trees everywhere. That's something. So, let's see if I can turn this camera around now. I don't know how to turn the camera around. There we go. What do you guys think of that? Adrian hooked that up with my brother for my birthday. I'm just blown away. I'm just blown away. I mean, I can't. I can't begin to tell you how amazed. Very, baby, very happy. You know how amazed I am. 
I mean, that's just straight. That's some big time love right there. It really is. You know, it just blows my mind. I lost my cup. Isn't that something? Huh? Hot Rod said, happy birthday, Mitch. Congrats, you deserve it, brother. Congrats Thank on you. One year. second. That is awesome. Babe, I can get that cup for you. Right here. She said, Jen said, Adrian, you're amazing. Damn. Fred said, uh, he knew what, he, he knew what happened. Yeah. Billy mm. Jump's happy for, everyone's happy for you. And that's something? You know, he deserves it. He's turning 60 and, uh... <laughs> You know, we're going to make it, make it. I told him, I said, just revel in this because I said this will probably never happen again. Yeah, I've just, never you know, had anything brand new. I had a shovel head before I went to prison. It was in 1974, so it wasn't that old. But Yes, Ryan, he wrote it from the dealership. I wrote it from Auburn to here, and I wrote it around here. Put 85 miles on it. It's a very nice bike. I have it'll, really last me, it it'll last me the rest of my life. I'm gonna get a sissy bar for it with a pad. You know, he's safe. got love for that old bike. Like I, we, I tried to figure out ways to do both, but we just couldn't afford it. So it's just a beautiful bike. I just bike. needed to make sure that we, you know. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery. You know, it's it's the nicest thing I've ever had, <laughs> and uh, you know, it just uh, it blows my mind. I, I want to thank my wife and my brother. You know. So, for my last birthday, I got a family. So those of you who've been around, uh, oh, I'm gonna go to Lincoln. I'm gonna go a lot of places. This in 09. I'm gonna go a lot of places. Um, you know, I got a brother, two brothers, two nephews, family for my birthday because uh, through ancestry DNA that she got me for my birthday, I found out I had a lot more family I never even knew of. Uh, Donette, <laughs> uh, you know, now I have a motorcycle because of that family and because of my wife and I'm just blown away, man. That just really, I'm very humbled by this experience and I've never been to Canada, brother. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very humbled by it and I'm very happy and I'm very, uh, kind of overwhelmed, you know, it's very nice, a very beautiful thing. And, uh, you know, I, I got out of prison. Um, it'll be four years, September 29th. You know, I am surrounded by love, brother. Uh, on here and here, you know, and down in Sac and just, you know, uh, it just uh, it blows my mind. Um, it was called the WWF, brother, back in the day. Um I'm not out here doing uh, EDD scams. and uh, I did collect unemployment when I lost my job and it ran out. Uh, and they still haven't re-upped it because you know, it's been two months. Yeah, it's been two months. They haven't re uh, reinstated it. You know, I'm not doing a scam. What's up, San Diego in the house? I'm not doing a scam to rip them off. You know, I worked. I got laid off. You know, from that wonderful company that said we're family. This is family, you know, and you guys are family. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Homeboy said it took him seven months to get his. We've been here three years. Mitch has been out for almost four. No, he means his uh, unemployment. Oh, yeah. We haven't, um, yeah. we haven't, I filed, you know, because they made me file a new claim because all the, rip off artists of the world like Mike Thompson. Yeah. So I had to refile and then now we gotta wait we've been waiting two months. So but I you know, things were Fred. okay with me. I, I refinanced my car and I was yep. able to do it and with his brother, so it's all it's all good. I just uh I, you know, and for all you guys that watch that are still in the mix and still on the fence and still you know, worried about your future because you're uh you're unsure about what you're going to do. You know, life hasn't been very difficult. Um, the job thing's been difficult for me. Uh, but, you know, I struggle through. I have support from my family. And I do things right. Uh, you know, so, yeah, he ripped, yeah, that's right, John Wolf. He ripped off homeless people, disabled people, 
read the article. It's in the Sacramento Bee. You can pull it up online. Uh, I read most of it, and then they timed out or something. Uh, you know. Thanks, Autism Dad Louie. You're pretty cool yourself. What did he say? He said you have a super cool <laughs> wife. I do, you know. Not all the time. I try. Yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> Good night, Debo. Good night, brother. Congrats on the Indian, Mitch. Peace to you. Thank you, Debo. We love you, brother. I am running my own business, JoJo. We sell t-shirts. This is our new t-shirt. We haven't posted it online yet. We're having some technical difficulties. She tried it'll before be we tonight. came on. It'll be up tonight at some point. This is the logo. Go Can you see that? And this is now, I don't know. Can they see that? Uh, yeah, lean forward a little bit. All right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's the new shirt. That's my business, brother. Selling shirts, art, stuff like that. That's why I'm building a shed. So I have a place to do art, store stuff, it's do a super art. Chief. Is it a super chief? That is a super chief. 2022. Limited. Oh, and when I signed up with my full coverage insurance, which I've never had before because we still owe a little money on it. Uh, yeah, $1.5 million. Uh, I called Geico. I called my insurance company and they go, yeah, it's going to be $500 down payment, $100 a month, uh, $1,500 a year. And the guy, the dealer and my brother are sitting there and they go, the dealer guy goes like this. He goes, hang up the phone. He goes, F them. Hang up. He goes, call Geico. So I got, my insurance is 70 bucks a month. And uh, yeah, it was, it was fantastic. Mr. Hamilton, thank you for the $25 cash app. Oh, wow. That's super, super nice of you. I really appreciate that right now. Thank you so much. That means a lot. A lot. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a hard anchor. So, uh, South and Las Vegas here started retailing Amazon's and scrapping last retailing. Oh, that's Billy Jump. Billy Jump's the one that cash out desk. Oh, thank you, way. Billy. Billy, you're awesome. Thank you so Short much. Short bus you're south. Super supportive and really appreciate you. Billy's cool dude, man. He is really cool is. Dude. Really Blake is. Blake Waters said, I'll be ordering that shirt as soon as it's up. I'm so pissed. Yeah, I, tried I like to, it. That's why we were I like late. Because I was trying to put it on before we yeah, went she, out. Yeah, she did the deal on the GoDaddy and it didn't log in. So I don't know what happened. But we're going to have it up. We also have some Street Vibration shirts that we made. We're going to put up later. We're going to sell at a discount. You know, yeah, we're going to sell at a discount. Basically, we're going to sell them to get our money back. Uh, street Vibrations. Uh, I'll put them up tonight. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it's fine. I got, I got the other thing. Um, so, we lost a lot of money going to Street Vibrations. Um, I want to say uh, the event, to me, was... Uh, it's not very good. And you know, my friend, Billy, uh, Jim, that knows the dealer down there in Grass Valley, he said, if I would have known you were going to Street Vibrations, I would have tried to talk you out of it. Because, Everyone's saying yeah. that Paul is way more legit. We've yeah. heard that too, but the thing is they're planning on having it. They're not going to have it's it on gonna, the street. Yeah, they're having it in a freaking dirt ass parking lot. It's going to be the same event, only bigger. So they had us in a parking lot in a homeless neighborhood by the Sands Hotel. And the way they directed traffic is you come in and you see these these tents. They're like 40 feet long, 15 feet wide, hundreds of different types of shirts, other vendors, big vendors. Then you come into this lot where we're at, right? The first thing you see is a huge, another huge, they had three tents, this one company. Then another guy had a big, like three trailers in a row, 5150 massive i met another guy from sacramento selling t-shirts small guy we had a little 10 by 10 pop-ups ours is an 8 by 8 it's not even 10 well, by I'm 10 i'm not going to tell you guys how much we paid for that spot yeah. we got we got great they, they, tell me they charge us 750 bucks for a 10 by 10 spot all right and all the foot traffic went in and went over to the lot next door and we're over here so it went in and around they didn't even come by her most people did not i would say 70 65 70 percent of people didn't even walk by our our uh our exactly. area yeah. they didn't walk by because of the way the foot traffic was uh, uh hi roger williams what's up lupe um so we lost uh quite a bit of money but i want to tell you this the event itself sucked okay uh 
I want to thank my friends from Sacramento, all of them. Billy yeah, brought yeah, some. Yeah, I haven't seen if he's not on yeah. here. Uh, Brian, say something because say I say something, can't Brian. See you, and that way I can actually answer you and yeah. say hi, Brian. Say something, Brian. Before every show is saying hi, Brian. Yeah, so Brian showed up with Chris and another homeboy from Sac. They bought some shirts. I'm they always what I told Mitch. Support us. If we didn't know, I would say 90% of the traffic that came to our booth were either from, they knew us from the channel, they knew Mitch from Instagram, yeah. or uh, various things like that, or they somebody told them All right, to come Ron. over. But it was not people yeah. just like stopping and buying stuff. Some, yeah. some were. And then percentage. Billy showed up with three other guys, introduced me to them. I'm terrible with names. They're all great guys. They all wrote up from SAC. They're all guys in recovery. So our friends from SAC, thank you for showing up and supporting us. It means a lot, um, especially in this situation where we lost quite a bit. And then we had a uh, bunch of guys come, guys that knew me from Instagram, guys that knew us from uh, YouTube, uh, Tom and Hector showed up, man. They're fabricating motorcycles over there in Reno. They're like, man, watch your YouTube, man. And they're motorcycle fabricators. And it was pretty cool. We met so financially, it was a big loss. The event itself sucked. There was no, and it, you know, I met these old people from uh, Kansas. They're, they're older folks. You know, they go, man, we have a event. Where's all the motorcycles? You know, I go, Think, man, we had 300 motorcycles in our town. We were a little bitty town. And you know, I said, yeah, you know, they bought a couple of uh, event shirts for their son, and that was bitching. So uh, on the scale of financial suck, on the scale of meeting people, having friends show up, support us, uh, people that watch us here and on Instagram, it was fantastic. We met a lot of really cool people. Uh, guys from Nevada City, Grass Chuck, Valley, Chuck all over. They wouldn't let us put his bike in front of his booth. That, that, they wouldn't let us do that. They might. Or not the space we had, we couldn't. Well, we had a small space. We could have put it on the side. You never know. Um, we could try it next time. But we went over there in a van. We had to rent a minivan to get over there to take all our shirts. So, um, But we met some fantastic people. Uh, AJ down in sack was selling t-shirts, uh, Hog Life great guy um so you know it ain't always about the money she always tells me that and you know i sat in a parking lot for two and a half days getting sunburnt trying to <laughs> hot asphalt i did get to go swimming in the swimming pool you know uh you know they had fun her and the kid had fun they went swimming and they you know gambled i met some really cool people from oregon you know it was uh it was awesome. School teachers. Oh huh? yeah, he was so funny. Though. Yeah, was, uh, super cool. Um, and so, so it's just I'm I'm not gonna say any names. What the guy does, the guy, well, the guy put patches on. So we had uh, our opinion. We had like a little, a literal Grinch, that was next door to us. He didn't like kids uh, laughing. He didn't like music. Yeah. He would run out and start. He was like, and this guy was like 80 years old, and he ran out mm. and started yelling at these little kids and shit and he called he came up yeah. called Mitch an asshole because he didn't agree with them. Yeah, so they had just... this this guy was next door to us he had an enclosed tent. He's an old dude. I mean he walks fucked up and he's got pictures of him at different parts of his life or, and he gets patches like Harley Davidson patches and he sews them on people's jackets. I guess he's been doing it for a long time. Been doing it for a long time. Years. And so across the way on the other side there's a taco truck. Some Mexican folks, right? Super, super fucking sweet, super cool. cool. Yeah. The guy, all the women were super nice. The dude come over. Hey, how's it going? The, gr the, the grandpa bought yeah, a shirt. Yeah, the, old, the grandfather bought my living dead girl shirt. The only white one I had. They're super cool. And I got these kids. Their kids behind us. They're laughing. You know, they're making playing. noise, playing. Yeah. You know what? That's what kids do. And this guy come out and tells him, yeah, "Shut the fuck up, my learn some respect." And I'm going, whoa. And then he went back to his teeth, fat mouthed him bad. And uh, someone told his parents, and she told him, hey, man, them kids can play over by us all they want. They don't bother us. Let them do what the kids do, you know, because kids are cool. And uh, then uh, there's an Asian guy behind me from the Bay Area, Fremont. He sells backrests for uh, 
brand new for newer model Harleys. And uh, he was banging some rap music on his bagger music, you know, on his bagger. And the guy comes up and goes, you hear that shit? And I go, yeah. He goes, well, why, you, oh, you don't give a fuck. I go, no. He goes, well, fuck you, asshole. And I went, yeah, all right. So when the, I, I walked over there, I go, hey, check this out, motherfucker. Because in prison, here's the deal. In prison, old people get respect. But when old people night, disrespect Frank. people, good night, brother. When old people disrespect people, they get disciplined. I mean, you're young enough to run your mouth, right? Anyway, I went over there and told them, hey, check this out, motherfucker. Uh, don't talk to me like that, you know? Uh, you talk to me like that again, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to break your fucking jaw. And uh, there were guys in his tent, and I'm walking back to my spot, and they go, hey, man, uh, you know, do you know who this guy is? You don't know. I said, I don't give a this fuck who he friends. is. That's what he said. They go, yeah. you know, he's got a lot of friends. They go, I don't give a fuck about him or his friends. <laughs> I go, I wasn't the one making noise. Fuck him and fuck his friends. And this guy just looked at me like, you know, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that, that was. Uh, yeah, I, when I, was I saw one, it as I was walking yeah. up. I was I saw Mitch walking out of his tent. I was like, shit. What just happened? And then, uh, and then, it, it, and this guy is so revered for whatever reason that they had people that worked there, yeah, setting his booth up and yeah. doing. All, he's a he's a little like his back's crooked, but he was oh, a fuck, grouchy you know? ass old man. Like if you don't like being out here, they don't fucking come. Like it just was, yeah, it was crazy. I don't. Yeah, think I was that, pissed off. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah, John says my Uncle Mitch has a lot of friends too. Right after that, all my friends showed up from Sacramento. <laughs> it was funny. Bruno said me and my wife went uh, to trailer to buy Celia Saturday from Seven Cal. There was a lot of bikers out there. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. That's awesome. I heard there was bike clubs running up down the coast. It was a nice weekend for riding, so you know what I mean? The, yeah. the J Cat Patch Pimp. Yeah, the J Cat Patch Pimp. That's right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, he was just a bitter old motherfucker, you know. And I'm Man, like, dude, I you was know. just like, yeah. Uh, um, give him a headache. Got a couple of aspirins on things. He was too old, dude. Like that, just yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I would have fought one of his friends for him. You oh know, my God. they wanted to step up, but uh, you know. Uh, so we're making a trip. We're making a big trip this weekend. This weekend. Yeah, so this weekend, we're leaving tomorrow. We're going to go down to Ventura, Port Wainimi. We're going to see Big Max, his beautiful family. And uh, then we're going to go down to San Diego. We're going to see some of our friends in San Diego. And we're going to have a good time. I haven't been to San Diego since I've been out, so... It's uh, it's gonna be nice, and then we're gonna come back, and on the way back we're gonna stop and see somebody special, right? On the way back we are. Yeah. So we're just gonna leave it at that. And we'll leave that at that. You might see it on here. So I also picked up a Gold's Gym weight machine from my brother. My brother sold his house, so. Iris Wood, are you uh, taking a new scooter on this trip? No, no. we're not, because there's three of us going. We have kiddos going, so. We got a kid going, and so it's going to be. I mean, we were trying to figure out a way, like yeah. if I, you know, we, but it, we yeah, like if out, she so. could fly down there and fly down there, rent a car, all that, it'd be kind of a pain in the ass, you know. But, Hi, Lakira. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I got a, I got a Gold's Gym workout machine. It does everything. Bench press. It's just like you see in a gym. My brother had it in his garage. He's moving, so uh, he gave it to me. I have it out here. I laid out. I laid out some spot in between the two houses. There's a big dirt strip, so I laid out the cloth. I put down a bunch of pea gravel. Boom! Just like lifting weights on the yard. You know what I mean? He's gonna have separation issues. I'm gonna have to hear it all weekend. Trust yeah. him. I wish I would have rode my motorcycle. I'll be down there going, hey, Mick, look at my new bike, brother. I wish I could have rode it. <laughs> yeah. He's messed up. Yeah, that's all right. Hi, OG Scotty Blanks. How's it going? Yeah. 
Thank, uh, thank you, OG Scotty. You're awesome, dude. So, you know, we come back, you probably, uh, yeah, I did speak about it, LA Times. Hey, can I say something really quick? Yeah. LA Times, you guys did a really good job on the interview with um, John Silva. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought it was really, really good. I yeah. was very impressed. You guys did a great job. Yeah. And, um, yes, he did talk about, on this video, about Thompson. He got some additional information. One of our friends that Damage Doug called us because yeah. his wife called them yeah so we get a little more additional information other yeah. than what was in the paper but he yeah. just said your thoughts on it being rest re rested he talked about it at the beginning of this but who, who said that uh ellie time said well that. my thoughts on that brother i talked about it in the beginning is uh you know he's a piece of shit and you know and when i did a thing about him getting out i said i earned my way out of prison uh 99 of the lifers getting out of prison that did now guys are getting out in 10 12 13 years on the same sentence i had we earned our way out of prison. That guy ratted his way out of prison. He learned nothing. You know? He learned nothing. He learned how to manipulate his way into what he wants. And he manipulated his way out of prison. Um, so there you have it. He's, you know, you he, fell right back into criminal behavior. I mean, that you shit know, is fucking crazy. Yeah. He got $352,000 that he had split with his compadre somehow. And now he's back in jail, sitting in the Sacramento County Jail, along with guys from Folsom Prison or supposedly in a prison gang that he used to be in. They're active. He's a rat. Hopefully it'll work out real nice for him. And he won't go back to Lake County. <laughs> Ryan, we're talking about... Michael Thompson. Ryan who? Ryan Foster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're talking about Michael Thompson. Uh, Tony Gutierrez said, what part in San Diego? Uh, we're going to El Cajon. We'll be in El Cajon. We're going to go over to Spring Valley and see my friend has a tattoo shop. We might go down to the beach. But uh, we're going to be on El Cajon Boulevard by the Harley-Davidson dealership down the street. There's a big sign up top. They're having a party. Uh, yeah, you know what, LA Times, we love you guys, man. And I want to say, like she said, your interview with John Silva, awesome. I'm going to tell you, uh, I was, I had a lot of interactions with John Silva in prison. He was a prison guard. Um, and like he said, he wasn't a fucking cop. He was a prison guard. That's true. Um, I'm glad you guys got to interview him. It was good. You know, uh, he's a good dude, man. Uh, you know, he said he would work overtime when he needed to buy some more race parts for his car and shit. You know, he was, uh, oh. we actually met him when we went over to the Barry. We came home one day and he, he met us on his motorcycle and went and ate dinner and it was cool. I'm glad you guys, uh. Seven Bear, your Patreon is still good, but we sent you something and it came back. So is I. Is that B-Bear? Yep. So, uh. Yeah. And I sent you a message and asked you for your address. So please send us your address at Mitch. At hardintentions.com, or which is a fluke that it came back. Yeah, B Bear, we got your, we got a tube that came back, and I said, hey, let him, you know, and she, yeah, we got stuff for you, brother. Yeah. Um, Kay, that's interesting. I don't, I did my, I'm going to get my membership back. Every time I click on it, it takes me to the about page. Are you talking about our YouTube membership or Patreon? Uh, Salvador Pablon's birthday is tomorrow, by the way. Happy birthday, Salvador. He's real close to yours. Yeah, we're Gemini's, brother. Twins. That's right. Twice as good. John McHugh, how are you doing? John McHugh's doing good. John McHugh said if we'd have been in a better spot, we'd have sold all our shit. That's what Mitch was hoping for. It didn't happen, but it's okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh... <laughs> Um, send it to me, uh, send it to me via at Mitch at hard intentions.com because I, yeah. I can't copy it from this. So, I mean, I can, but I don't have anywhere to copy it to. If I, yeah. Uh, John said he's going to shoot the cameras to you soon. Cool. Cool. I mean, we're actually, I'm really happy about this going this weekend, but we've been going, 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 going. So I'm actually looking forward to, we're not working this weekend, which is nice. So. Mitch, can you please tell me? I'm sorry, old sad daddy. I can't. He said, Mitch, can you please tell me how to add the peanut butter and ramen? Do you use crunchy or smooth? You can use either one. I use smooth. Um, you make your soups. If you, I need like in prison, we don't really boil them. We just let them sit in hot water. 
or if you boil them, then you drain them. You leave a little bit of water in there, just a little bit. Then you add your a big dollop of peanut butter, stir it up, put your flavor packet in there or whatever kind of seasoning you want. I like to use chicken or chili. Uh, yeah, with some sriracha, peanut butter. It's great. Mitch and made then, some bomb ass chicken yesterday. Yeah, I made some real. bomb ass habanero mango chicken. Yes, he's on. We haven't seen him for a while. Nietzsche is on. What's up, Nietzsche? And then you take yourself a piece of stale ass steak bread and you grab it and you got a bread top ramen taco. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jay said, that's it. Now I'm eating again. Damn it. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Derek. Yeah. Uh, that, this might be a stupid question, but did you add peanut butter on taco or extra salami slices for commentary? Uh, peanut butter on taco. Or extra, or salami slices, slices. I never, no, you know, I put the peanut butter on top ramen. I didn't like a lot of peanut butter in there because they give you peanut butter all the time. But, uh, I don't really make tacos in there. I made burritos. And I always use, I always made burritos with rice, beans, and shredded beef in a pouch, or uh, beef barbacoa, or uh, Roger. Pork. Happy twenty-six years of marriage and your anniversary. Uh, that is really something. That is awesome. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. He says his wife says it's two hundred and sixty years. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Roger. Okay. Oh, um, awesome. I will uh, send me your email, and I will walk you through it. Give me your number. Send, send everybody who needs to send something. And sorry if I'm lagging when we've both been so busy. It's at Mitch at hardintentions.com. And then, okay, send me your phone number and then I'll, I'll walk you through it. Jen, I hope you have some good news for me. And you better text me what your answer is because uh, I've been thinking about it all day. And I probably know what you're going to say, but I want you to send me a message. Yeah. Okay. We, we need to have that happen. Uh, uh, cheese company. Uh, let's see. Um, it, what did you say? I need company. Is that what you said? That'd be nice. That would be nice. He just wants to do what he wants to do. <laughs> Don't try it, Mitch. Well, what? you know, I need to have somebody watch over you. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Uh, Bruno, I Mitch, uh, I join. Part two of the Mike Thompson. Oh, you know what? Um, Bruno. Send me your email address. I'll send you the link. Some people have problems viewing it on there, too. I don't know yeah. why. Um, so, Belly Dodger Blue, Derek uh, Heinemann. We have snapbacks, but we just are on back order right now. Our friend Louie, Louie Louie from Grind and Pivot is making them for us. So, we have to wait till they get out here, but it, it shouldn't yeah. take too long. Yeah. Uh, Zoo said, Steve LaBarber said, happy birthday, Mitch, and congrats Thank on you, the Steve. new motorcycle. Thank you. You know, um, uh, no, Salvador, you did not miss his birthday. It's each. Friday, but he got a motorcycle for his birthday. In case you didn't see that, because yeah, he's a nice uh, wife and a nice brother. I'll be sixty years old on Friday, and you know what's crazy is I never thought I'd live to see twenty-five, and then when I lived to be thirty, I was like, man, I'm thirty years old and I'm in prison. You have ninety people know? on it right now, by the way. I just thought that was just, you know. You know, I, I, there was a time in prison I thought I'd die in there, man, for real. And uh, that's right, Ellie Dodger Blue, and here I am, man. Uh, he, uh, Bear, B Bear said he sent it. Okay, you know, thanks, B Bear. Yeah, it came back in the mail. I'll show you. It's right there. We also have one from someone that ordered that other one. we got to figure out who that is. I have P.O. Box 1351. P.O. So Box 1351. Just a little return to sender thing. Yeah. Michigan boy asked me, have you heard from him? Did you talk to him? I was like, no, I sent him messages, but That's I'm it. glad came you're back. on there. It says, return to sender, unable to forward, unable to forward, return to sender. So, yeah. We'll fire that back out to you. And, uh, you know, when we get back, I got two weeks to work in, on the shed and hopefully finish it. And then we're going to Missouri for two uh, weeks. Thomas Leslie came on here and said, hey, guys, it's Tom from Reno. What's up? How you doing, Tom? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, motorcycle fabricator. How you doing, brother? See, you made it worth it. You kind of people. You guys made. made uh, you know, I was saying earlier, Tom. You know, the, we took a big hit financially, but uh, 
on other aspects, meeting people, you guys are the ones that made it bearable because it was really nice meeting you and Hector and everyone else that stopped by to say hi to us. So that's cool. Yeah, that's super cool. I remember that Thank conversation you. that was neat. Yeah. Um, Bruin wants us to make some of our shirts gray, long sleeve, three X. You know what? I can make you one. That's no sweat. When I go to make, it's no sweat for me to make one shirt. Who said that? Um, Bruno. Yep. Uh, Hot Rides and my grandma was so honorary she purchased me a barrel plot at 13 and told me I would end up like my dad I would make it make it to 20 the way I was living full tour at 45 and pushing forward yeah Good for you bud you know that's why I you know my my brother got rid of this weight machine I'm like man I'll take it I used to lift weights outside in prison I'll do it here it's right out the window here right outside the window and so you know I'm just planning to stand in shape and and uh ooh Sorry, Dave. It's all right. You know, I'll just stay in shape. That way I can ride that motorcycle for the rest of my life. Uh, uh, 16. Uh, we are not. We are. Okay. Let's get it straight, Steve LaBarber. I wish that we were high rollers. I wish that we were. Yeah. That is not the way it works. Just yeah, we are me. definitely not high rollers. You but know. thanks for the positive thinking. <laughs> I'm working um, on it. I love to be, you know. But, uh, you know what? I went on a motorcycle ride with some guys, and Jimmy used to say, I don't have much money, but I'm rich. That's kind of how I feel, you know? The shed, I have to, I got it wired up. I have to do the insulation and the drywall on the inside, put up the shelves. Then I can start moving stuff in. I'm going to do the roof on Good my, night, on my leisure. Good night, Chuck. Uh, it's sad. Good night, brother. Thank you so much for everything, really, from the heart, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to load it up with stuff, start drawing, painting, tattooing out there, and then I'll do the roof at my leisure. I'll get it, uh, good old boy, 931, what's up? I'll get it roof before it starts raining. You can count on that, you know? I'm a low roller, but I'm proud. That's right, skill set. All right, yep. that. Are the super chats going through? I didn't see any. Nietzsche said. Yeah, I didn't see any, but. But thank you for the good thought, man. Yeah, thanks for the good vibes. You know, we love you guys out there, man. And, and uh, you said he sent two. I know, I didn't see any. I didn't see him either. Uh, Redwood said, LOL, fuck Lake County. Had to go clean up a couple of snakes up there. Yeah, that place is shady as shit. Yep, yep. Lake County. We know a guy, there's one left from Les Duffy. Thank you oh, so much for that five Les. bucks, brother. Thank you. Oh, I mean, you're sweet. Thank you so much. We went up to uh, Lake County to see someone we know up there. And we seen a guy, you know, he had a great big giant water tank upside down with a whole door cut in it. And he was living in it. I went to Walmart to get some oil. And he goes, you seeing this, Mitch? And I go, yeah, I'm seeing it. He said, in the wintertime, it's like a nightclub in here. <laughs> they can lock up. Hey, in Lake County, Walmart, they lock up behind. Uh, oh, wow. Less stuff. He sends Aww, 20 Les, bucks, thank man. Thank you. That's so nice. Thank you. That's super nice. Thank you, guys. Yeah. That was really nice. Really yeah, Polaris is kicking ass, brother. Yeah, all the cosmetics, all the toilet paper and stuff is locked up in Lake County, Walmart. Uh, just so you know, folks, Polaris owns the name Indian. They own the Indian brand, and they're killing it. The FTR 1200 is a badass flat tracker. This bike I got is a new 20. They skipped. So anyway, when I was talking to Geico, the lady on the phone says, oh, it's a 2022. I see they skipped the 2021 and went right to 2022. So it's a brand new bike. It's a brand new style. Indian's killing it, man. The guy who sold me the bike said he rode Harleys for 36 years. He's been riding an Indian for seven. And uh, he's never had a transmission or engine problem ever. So it's got a lot of power. It's got a ride-by-wire, which is like electronic signal to the motor. There's no throttle cables. It's a nice bike. And uh, Polaris is a good company, so, yeah. 
Uh, Neach said, can I send a I PayPal? I just sent him the info page. Yeah. Which likes. <laughs> Thank you so much just for that thought. That man. is really nice. <laughs> uh, it's I don't know how the ride by wire works there. I all I know is there's no throttle cables. I don't know how it does it Bluetooth or whatever, but it sends a signal from the throttle to the motor. So it's a pretty neat bike, man. Pretty neat bike. Uh, and a big B ride. It clocks some serious miles on. Yeah, Kerry Hart's a Indian guy and. Uh, the, the king of the bagger races has been won by the Indian challenger. So um, good luck keeping up Harley Davidson. And um, I want to tell you something. I called this guy on the phone. Come on down. I mean, it was that easy. I, I just want to say something. I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to say it. I'm not even going to give him that. But um, Mitch called another place that we got a referral from a friend of ours. And this guy was like high pressure sale, like you got to get in here, that the amounts were high, that they wanted us to pay. It was kind of crazy. And then Mitch called Indian and they were just like. Yeah, they hardly cool. wanted to give you us 14% financing. Indians yeah. 5.9, 6.5, depends on how long you finance it for. And it took literally two days for this to happen. One day. On the phone, the next day, pick it up. And the guy had a smile the whole time, low pressure. Uh, I didn't have to produce any fake paychecks. Uh, I sent him my bank yeah. statement. Come on down. Just like that. You know? Paychecks. Well, my brother is, uh, you know, he's been out here in the world working his whole life. And... Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's something, man. Indian's quite a place. Very low pressure, very accommodating. So awesome merchandise. You if it was a total surprise. It was a total surprise. Yesterday, I went down to see my brother, and he's like, hey, this is what we're doing. I was like, wow. You know, him and my wife put the down payment down. And uh, and made this happen. I'm just blown away. So, uh, thank you, old sad daddy. Old sad daddy. That's funny. Uh, what tourist attraction would I recommend visiting in California? <laughs> um. <laughs> Not Placer Hill. <laughs> um, I don't know. The beach. The beach. Santa Cruz Boardwalk is cool. Santa Cruz is okay. But you have to be a California resident, right? I would now. go to yeah. San Diego and check out Mission Beach. They have the boardwalk similar to Santa Cruz without without all the uh, the gangbang and shit going on. So, yeah, I go to San Diego. They got SeaWorld, they got the gym, they got the beach. Go to San Diego oh, yeah, and check it out. Oh, yeah, they got a really cool... Go to, uh, go to Muscle Beach and... Uh, oh, yeah, that was stupid. Yeah. Also, uh, meth, yeah. Meth. Hot Rod said, come check out Meth Desto. You <laughs> want to the great view. There's a lot of really beautiful yeah. places, though. I mean, you know, we yeah. have the snow. There's still snow yeah. up in Reno. Um, there's... Uh, California's a... That's you know, a lot of cool stuff. It only stuff. takes a, a couple hours to get from point A to B, so... Yeah, Skip Venice, that's right. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. That place has really changed. Mitch, when's the last time you were in San Diego? How long ago? 1979. There you go. I don't know that you should really be asking him where to go. <laughs> Lake Tahoe is probably pretty cool, you know. Lake Tahoe's good. Um, it depends what you're into. Like, if you're into, you know, hiking or... Motorcycle riding, it depends on what you're into. Yeah. And if you come here and get a, a good tourist attraction, come see us. California. Yeah, you know, if you go through Plaza Real, just get in touch with us and we'll take you to some awesome barbecue spots or Italian restaurants, you know. I can't get fired.
Wow. Salvador said he has 300, uh, some 300,000 pesos in the bank and he can't get financed to buy a, a Honda that's worth 200,000 pesos because he doesn't have credit. Jason Menifee's on. He said ride a Highway 1 on two wheels. That's an epic tourist attraction. It is. It is, Jason. How you doing, brother? Plan on seeing you as soon as we get back. I'm going to start working on some patterns. Uh, also, Chad from the utilities. I'm going to work on your pattern. And uh, we also have another man down there. We're going to work on his pattern. When we get back, I'm going to start tattooing. So. Hi, GC. How's uh, it going? Uh, Nick said, I want to take you guys to dinner next week, so I'll be in, Sa in Sacramento. <laughs> awesome. We would love to. That's awesome. Awesome. Jay just said he sent you a few birthday dollars on PayPal. Happy birthday. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you, you so much. That's Thank so you. Nice. Really. That's so awesome, man. That is so awesome. You know, baby, you haven't done, I, you know. What? Huh? <laughs> I can't. Haven't done what? Nothing, honey. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, credit's weird, man. Uh, you know, you can't uh, you can't even rent an apartment, man, if you don't have long time credit. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's really it's not the it's not the easiest thing. Name of a local butcher in our town. Oh, we King have Meats. some King Meats is really good. It's up it's out of Pleasant Valley. It's pretty good. They service all the hotel uh, restaurants up here. A lot of the restaurants, you know. And they get their meat from the uh, from the Midwest. They get the meat from the Midwest. That's right. You know, I didn't get an Indian T-shirt with that bike because they don't have any to fit me. All they have is two X. So, you know, there are good steaks in Placerville. We have a good steak cutting place, and right down the hill, uh, Cattleman's is pretty good, right? Is that that chicken stuff? Mm -hmm. You gonna save me a bite of that? Nope. Okay, I have to go out. We missed dinner tonight because we got to pack up for our trip, and we want to do a live before we pack up. Uh, uh, Kira wants to know when we're gonna be in Oklahoma. We're gonna layer out our trip when we get back. Yeah. From this trip, but we are going. I've never been. Yeah, that's going to be a quite a deal. Two weeks going to Missouri and back. It's going to be quite a deal. JB Weld, thank you. Safe travels. He sent us 10 bucks, babe. Aww. Thank you so much thank for that you. super chat, brother. Tell me, I haven't seen him on for a yeah. while. <sighs> wow. It said a house in Toronto could cost $7 million to $1 million. Huh? That's crazy. And rent for one bedroom in Toronto is 1400 a month. That's not too bad, actually. You're right. I'm really excited about taking Mitch to um, Missouri to because uh, they have such good beef out there. Like, it's good. Aw, uh, Turkey Loco. Turkey. We're going to come see you. Uh, hopefully, you're going to be home this coming weekend. All right, Turkey Loco. We're leaving tomorrow. We're going to Ventura, and then we're going to San Diego. So you better be around. We can see you, brother. I like your haircut, Turkey. Yeah, I like your haircut, bro. And by the way, I do have a fishing license, so you know if you wanted to, you know, hop on out in that water and go fishing, yeah, you know, for an hour or two, maybe we could take Adrian with us. Mm -mm. You've been out in the ocean? I've done it a couple times. I'm good. Yeah, I liked it. We were eight miles out in the ocean. Turkey said, "I'll be home." Hey, Turkey Loco, did you see my motorcycle? They got me for my birthday. Insane. Insane. Just blows my mind, man. You know? Uh, <laughs> Hot Rod said you can dodge the needles here in Meth Desto and still pay $2,2500. We're good here. We're just making what we have more beautiful. That's all. Yeah. We have you know, to finish her, the building out back, though, first. We got to finish the shed, but you it's know. It's not her, a shed, it's a building. It's a tiny house mm -hmm. slash shed, but her parents are right next door. We, you know, and let's face it, you know, nobody's getting any younger, so it's nice to be next door to them and, you know, 
It is an Indian turf. Watch the beginning of it. He, he went out and showed it. I'll shoot you a photo. Yeah. I love you, brother. Oklahoma is so damn... Red Dye said, Oklahoma is so damn beautiful. The Chippewa County is just so old and cool looking. I'm super excited to see that. Yeah, I've been to Oklahoma when I was a little bit of kid, but, uh, you know, uh, still not quite long. And the uh, Gilroy Indians were the bottle cap Indians, and uh, they're pretty cool. They had one down there today. He said Arnold kind of ordered a custom bike when she worked at a Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, you know, he has some money to order whatever he wants because he's a, you know, turd. Uh, governor of California took a lot of parole dates from guys who got found suitable for parole. I'm not a big fan of Arnie. And uh, if you haven't heard me say it before, Arnie came into San Quentin back in 81, lifted weights with three of my friends for about three or four hours in the gym. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Hot Rod. Uh, you know, and he told, man, you guys do way too much time. Fast forward 30 years later, he became the governor. And those same guys were still in prison. And he still uh, would take their parole dates when they got found suitable for parole. So, you know. Arnie is just a guy that will do anything to uh, make a buck. He'll say whatever it takes uh, and do whatever it takes. Uh, you know, he's a, he pimp himself out, whatever. Oh, can we talk about something? What's that? You want to talk about what we watched, what I made you watch last night before you went to bed? What did we watch? Oh, yeah. Who was that? Um, Ro I think it's Bozo. The, I think his name is Bozo. Ro I think he's Rodium. a rapper. Rhodium was a channel, though. Yeah, Rhodium uh, channel. Nietzsche oh, sent wow. us 49.9. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nietzsche. Man, thank you so much. That is so nice. That oh, means my... a lot to us, brother, so more nice. than you ever thank know. Thank you. Really. I know, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, I might put an AC in that uh, shed. I don't know. No, he's going to. He can't talk to you in there without it. Yeah. So we watch Rhodium, right? And this guy's chatting it up, and then... Somebody calls on the phone. He's like, hey, man, why are you speaking on my name, man? We, 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 you know? You're a hoe, bro. Yeah, you're a hoe. You're feeling it. Fuck your hood. Fuck your hood, man. That's what I say. Yeah, now what? Fuck your hood. Let's sign a waiver. And turns out it was our red leather pants wearing chump. Uh, you know, potential sex offender. Uh, so panty this, sniffer. Panty sniffer. sniffer at Walmart. You catch my drift. So this guy's like, hey, you're a PC. You're a rat. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, let's sign a waiver, man. He goes, sign a waiver, motherfucker. Only a PC rat like you would talk about signing a waiver. He goes, go smoke your meth and go in your room and jack off. You know, it was so funny. Oh, man, it was funny. Yeah, so that, obviously that was savage, calling in on Rhodium. And uh, hats off to Rhodium. Mm, big Joe from LA Times is on. Cool. He said, my brother Mitch. What's up, Big Joe? I see you doing big things. I see it on Instagram. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Big Joe's cool. Big Joe's an actor. Hey, Big Joe, shout out some of the films. What was that zombie, uh, like Chicano zombies, or what oh, was that? Really? Yeah, I did. Yeah, they did a movie about zombies. It was pretty cool. I didn't see the movie. I saw the excerpts from it. You know, they sent me. Yeah. Shout out some of your movies, Big Joe, so uh, these guys can see them. You know. If Mitch ever makes a movie, we're going to have Big Joe play a part in that movie. Yeah, why not? You know, I have a thing, right? Uh, why can't they have a white guy on the, on the, on the Mayans, you know? Uh, you know what I mean? The only white Mayan. Would you be on the Sons of Anarchy? <laughs> sure, why not? Maybe if they gave me a new motorcycle, you know, I could go on there. But, uh, yeah. Oh, wow, Nietzsche. Wow, since 1999, dude. Thank you, Nish. You're so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Yep. Have you ever invested... Wait. Good night, Aaron Anderson. I don't know where Golden Hills, San Diego is. Uh, Big Joe and Kilroy, Cholo Zombies. That is freaking awesome. That's it. I'm going to watch yeah. that. Yep. Cholo Zombies. And they also did a uh, show about Kilroy. Now, Kilroy was a gangster. Huh? Yeah, I remember that. Kilroy was a gangster. I remember Kilroy when I was a young man in prison. 
Kilroy was uh, about the business. Uh, you know, as much as you can be about the business. Uh, and uh, I guess he got out and turned Christian and all that. So hats off for you guys for making a movie documentary about him. They also did Cholo Zombies. So check that stuff out. Yeah. That's cool. That's so cool. Um, yeah. Yes, we talked about Mike Thompson in the beginning of this because yeah. Mitch was hip to some info that he got, not just a newspaper. So we uh, put it up there. It's at the beginning. Yeah. Bruno said, congrats on the bike. Now I, get, I need to get a one-ton truck and come join the Hot Shot crew. Hey, <laughs> you know what? I'd like to. She doesn't want me to, but I'd like to. Why are you saying uh, I want you to? I don't know. I'm going to be I mean, yeah, we did. We talked about that, brother, Jonathan Thompson. Jonathan. Jonathan, I have no relationship. Are you Mike Thompson's, uh, let's see. Let me see. There's Jonathan... Either his brother or his nephew. Is that you, Jonathan? I have a friend, Mike Thompson, and he has a nephew, I think, named Jonathan. Or is that his brother? I can't remember. There's Mike, Matt. Jonathan, he's messing with you. Jonathan. No, I'm not, actually. I, don't, I just... He just said I'm not Mike Thompson's brother. All right, I'm sorry. My bad. Uh, no. No. I'm not talking about Mike Thompson the rat. I'm talking about Matt Thompson, the guy oh, they okay. interviewed. Yeah. Oh, he's from Canada. Okay. I my if you watch my interview with Matt Thompson, he has a brother named Jonathan. So that's why I wondered if that was you. Niche, yeah. thank you again. And if you come here, please call us, okay? Yeah, you come anywhere by us, let us know. We travel a little bit, you know. Uh Old sad dad, he said he's in Michigan. He heard L.A. is pretty crazy. You know, I lived in L.A. and uh, let's see. I do support California from succeeding from the, as long as they leave the state of Jefferson alone. Um, uh, they were going to do, GC, they were going to do an interview. Um, something happened with the one that they did. Is that so, Al Profit? Um, asking Al Profit, but Mitch just yeah. talked to him on yeah. the phone. Yeah, we're going to do that hopefully this week. Might be able to do it while we're on trip. And then also, Mitch did one today, but it's going to be yeah. kind of long. So Yeah, we're going to do a second part. We have to re reconnect. Gunner from Detroit. Gunner from Detroit. Yep, that's right. And, and uh, what else we have? We'll put that up. We'll put his link. You know, I've never interviewed anyone from Detroit, and I thought it was pretty interesting to chat. And we're going to do the second half uh, coming up. And then we'll get it. We'll get it up. It's pretty cool. What's up, gangster Chewy? Oh, you little piss head. Yeah, Chewy likes to piss all over the place when we're not here. What? Are you doing? I don't. I don't know. We have to pack it up. I have to do them orders. So we have to pack up some orders and get them shipped out. We have to uh, so pack I'm our stuff for a trip. So I'm just going to give an apology now. So. Um, yeah. We have been trying to, so we will do a members only this weekend. Yep. For sure. Yep. We got to pack tonight. So, uh, um, she's doing good. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah, yeah. Bruno, I saw that. So, uh, Jim F says, How's everybody going tonight? Good. How are you doing? You know, the barber shop and blood in, blood out is in North Block. And it's a really a barber shop there. So, the only thing I liked about Blood In, Blood Out is that the movie was shot in San Quentin. He was still going, and that's the, that's yeah. the blah, blah, blah. And that's, that's the, the bakery, you know. and that's this. Oh, that's West Block. And hey, yeah, that's the barber shop right around the corner. I used, I used to live right, right on the first tier by that barber shop. Yep. It was kind of cool because. If, if I was doing something in my cell I shouldn't be doing, I could tell if the cops are coming because the guy's in a barbershop would change their behavior. It was kind of neat, you know? Uh, uh, good night, Jim. Thanks for stopping in. That's right. I should buy a members-only jacket. That's right, Nietzsche. <laughs> uh, hey, so if California... Now, here's the deal. We live in Placerville. It's called the state of Jefferson. And... Mm. 
Well, they want to call. The they want to. They want to create the state of Jefferson. Placerville would be part of that, along with parts of Northern California, all, yeah, all Southern Northern Oregon, California. Central Valley, and they were going to vote on it actually. And the day before the vote, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, and that canceled the vote on the state of Jefferson. And there's been people pushing to create the state of Jefferson. And once you go out here, Placerville Drive, off where, where we live, there's a sign that says, Senate Bill so-and-so, state of Jefferson, vote yes, you know. So trust me, there's people that want to succeed from this, California, right here where we live, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's check our site again and see if it came up. So hold on a second. All right. Yeah, you know, California's a mess. And for those guys who don't know, they call it California because they tax you and tax you and tax you and tax you. And they give all your tax money to people that don't work. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you saw that air freshener hot rod? That's right. You see my air freshener in my truck's my hot rod. Oh, you know what? Our website renews on the 24th, just so you know. What's that mean? That's all right. It is a beautiful state, but it's a terrible politics, man. I still have to renew my registration on my truck. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll do that when we come back, huh? Yeah. I did see Felon. Uh, it actually wasn't that good. Um, and I don't think they went down like that, but, you know, it was okay, parts of it. Uh, I don't really know much about a convict's perspective, you know. Um, I think that one of our... Uh... You know, the stories they tell are probably true. Um, split switch, what's up? But they tell stories that I can't tell, and you know, because I won't go there, and I, you know, I don't like to, uh, I don't like to name groups of people specifically, and I don't like to name people by name, and so therefore, uh, you know, I can't tell a lot of stories about things, um, you know, because of that. Um, street vibe kind of sucked. Uh, People are cool, situation one. Uh, you know, I can't tell you about, you know, uh, guys that did certain stuff and how it went down and, you know, because then you're telling on people and I just, you know, you know what I mean? I just, uh, I can't go there. Uh, the, the convicts perspective, I'm pretty sure are mostly S and Y guys, dropouts, all that kind of stuff. So they don't really care about telling stories about things that they've seen and and done and been through, you know. Homeboy said the Redwood Run is better. So I've heard that too. Uh, as far as traveling to events to sell shirts, we're kind of uh, we're kind of done with that for a while until our finances build back up because we took a pretty big hit on uh, Street Vibe. So We tried it though. We gave yeah. it a shot. Didn't work out. Uh, homeboy said, uh, Hot Rod said he lives in California and he lives in Methodesto and because he likes to pay top dollar for the, that's right, for the we weather, all do. for the weather. <laughs> that's, you know, that's the one thing California has is weather, you it's know, beautiful. Yeah. That uh, cool. I don't know if we're ever going to go to Sturgis, you know? Yeah. California's like Florida's brother from another mother. Here's what Mitch and I were talking about. This is what I. This is kind of my dream. I would love to have to do an event where we only let people come that make their own shit, yeah. and they're like independents, and, and, and they're not and, made in and biker related shit too, right? Yeah. Go ahead, babe. No, no, baby, I'm done. Yeah, you know, uh, she had an idea. Uh, we met AJ down there in Sac. He sells shirts. I tell you, Hog Life. Pretty cool shirts. He prints his own shirts. Fortune. Uh, maybe we could get two or three independent guys like us 
pitch in to get a big spot, throw up a Big Ten, all three of us could sell our shit in one big spot and compete with the big corporate uh, assholes that go to these events. And really, you know, it's my take that these corporate guys that sell shirts and, and uh, you know, leather vests that are made in Pakistan and all that shit, they shouldn't be there, you know, personally. We know somebody that was at another show that we were at and all their shit was from Pakistan. And this yep. time, they didn't have any labels. It was the same vendor. Yeah, if you look at my Instagram account, I, I went and took photographs of this guy's leather vest. The label said made in Pakistan. And I posted it. I said, you know, this guy's over here at a motorcycle rally selling shit for dirt cheap. 30 bucks, right, for a vest? Yeah. Made in Pakistan. I saw the same guy over here at Street Vibrations. I looked at all the labels. Didn't say where it was made. None of it. Same dude. Same jackets. So I don't think those guys belong in our in our in motorcycle rallies, you know, personally. You know what I mean? I hear you, Bruno. You know what I mean? Yeah, so uh, you know. Okay, babe, it's up now, so hold on a second. I'm just gonna Oh it is? It yeah, give me All a right. second. So we have the hard anchor coming your way. It's a cool shirt. I like it. And you know what? It's blue. It's like a dark blue. It's not, uh, it goes with the back, you know, the water. This is the original, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think they did a good job printing it. I'm wearing one, so, you know. Uh, the governor, we all do what we can do. Watergate just bother me. How does your conscience bother you? That's right. Will uh, wore a wire and then left out his door. Yep, so, it's up. Oh, cool. So this shirt is now on our website. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you know, what's the matter, babe? Is our website acting stupid? All right. Uh, these two heat transfer shirts used to do on. One thing I don't like about heat transfer is it looks like a big piece of plastic on your shirt. And when the shirt shrinks, the plastic heat transfer doesn't. So, you know what I mean? Uh, call nine. All right, Billy Jump. Take care, brother. Uh, we'll put the yeah. other ones up too. Yeah, we'll put the Street Vibration shirts up so you guys that didn't get to go or say you're from there, you didn't see us, you can check them out. Uh, Placerville is about, what, three hours from Oakland? San, San Francisco. Did you see Terry on here tonight saying he felt better? Did you see that? I didn't see that. Yeah, he said he's, he's doing better. Excellent, I Terry. Still, I don't know if he's still on, but he said he was feeling better. Excellent. Yeah, it's two and a half, three hours to Oakland, somewhere around there. Uh, screen print's a way to go. Um, also, they have a new direct garment print that's pretty good. They spray the ink on like an inkjet uh, printer, you know. Rosie, come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. Come on. Look at that one. Yeah, look at that. This little doggy right here is wonderful. Oh. Uh, yeah, the Bay Area is rough, man. You know, it's in the cent center because I don't want to get involved in the left and right battle drama. I don't like it either, my friend. You know, Jason Moore's County. Uh, you know, I'm like this, all right? What's up, girl? I'm like this. If there's a problem in this country and somebody goes, hey, I got an idea. You know, it'll fix that problem. I don't care whose idea it is. As long as it's something that's good for the country and it's good for people like you and me. Uh, what's up, Ham Man? Will, what's up, brother? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that's where I'm at. As long as it's a good idea and it's good for people like you and me, that's all I give a shit about, you know what I mean? I don't get offended, uh, let's see. Uh, 
people in California in certain areas, they get offended by stupid shit, you know? Huh, kid? Huh? Yeah, she's over here. Yeah, what's up, girl? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, my shirts are good, bro. I, I like the, um, I'm glad you like them. Can I book a session, Mitch? Yeah, you can. Um, who is that? You got to get at me at MitchHardIntentions.com. I'm building my shed where I'm going to tattoo. Split switch. Please get at me. MitchHardIntentions.com. We'll talk. I have some guys lined up to tattoo on. I'm still working on some of the patterns. We're going on a trip now till Monday. We're going to come back for two weeks. We're going to go to uh, Missouri for two weeks. And after that, we're done traveling. I have to finish the shed, which is a small building where I'm going to be tattooing and doing artwork. So, um, yeah, you can book a session. It depends on what you want and where you want it, but we can do it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm on Instagram. Message me, Mitch. <laughs> 790 so once i get in the groove once the shed's done and i start working uh you know that's my tattoo shop's name babe welcome to the shed the shed huh welcome to the shed tattoos what, at the what shed is that called the shed yeah the shed yeah you know like so-and-so tattoo parlor it's the shed you know we've been off for an hour and a half have we yep yep all right baby yeah we, you know, uh, headed to sleep. All right, Lakira. Uh, yeah, the price of lumber is crazy. The hard shed. Uh, Irish Wood said the hard shed. Huh? The hard shed. That's right. I got a little cross on there. We got the door from the people at our church. Pretty cool. The shed. Five five on Google. <laughs> uh. All right, split switch. Yeah, get at me, and we'll we'll discuss it. We'll see what you need done. Uh, yeah, we're about done for the night, huh, babe? Yeah. And uh, we're gonna wrap this up. I have to fill some orders and get them in the mail tomorrow morning. Uh, and we have to pack up for our trip tomorrow. We have to get up early and take off early in the morning so we beat the traffic and we get down to Big Mix's house early. So. All right, skill set. We love you too, brother. All right, Salvador. Good night, brother. Um, you know, thanks for coming on. It's Wednesday Night Live with the Heart Attentions family. You know, we love you guys, and we, uh, we value each and every one of you people out there that watch us and support us. I uh, really like my Celtic cross shirt. I'm glad. Thank you. The shirt's Thomas up. So, Leslie. you guys, feel free. Yes. Uh... It's a southern term for bad children. <laughs> yeah. Good night, folks. We love you, folks. Take care. Be good out they there. I said, see you tomorrow, literally. <laughs> see you tomorrow, brother. Yep. LA Dodger Blue, good night. Good night. Jen, my phone's dead, so I got to charge it and I'll call yeah. you in just a little bit. Turkey say I'll see you this weekend. Uh, good, good night, night Jason. Wayne. Good night, Turkey. Wayne, what's up, Wayne Honeycutt? Good night, brother. Thanks for tuning in, Derek. Big Max. Boom. We'll set up See, fun we'll. Drive, uh, have fun drive night. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Uh, we'll be back next week, bro. And we're, we're going to have you guys over for dinner, so there's that. Yeah. Yeah. You can come out and check Ron out. Ron RMC you... said also that we could sell our shirts at, I seen at that. their event. Let us know when you have a... Uh... Good night, Ron. Let us know when you guys have an event, man, ahead of time so we can plan for it, and we'd love to show up. With our meager doings and have a good time with all you and your brothers. Good night, folks. Uh, we're not doing a members tonight because we have to do some orders and we have to pack for our trip. We I'm sorry. We are going to do one this weekend. Yeah. Members only. You guys have a good night. We love you. And thanks Take care to all our yourself. members only. Thanks to all our subs. And if yeah, you thank you everybody, yet, man. Please do so. We love you, folks, man. See you in Oklahoma. All right, folks. Good night. Whatever it is you do. What's that? Do it hard. That's right. And don't let no one stop you. Especially no turds. Oh, babe. Yeah. <laughs>